Hey guys, this is Godzilla, and the Mercromancer is here. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, bit of a let's play to uh, get this one going. Now, as you can see, there I've just hit level five, uh, so I've got the old uh, death trap, and uh, yeah, I thought this would be the best way to show it. A little bit early to come out with a uh, with a skill guide. Uh, yeah, I mean, of what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought I was going to go one way with the tree. Um, not too sure how useful it's going to be yet. Um, so I thought, you know, to give you guys the best uh, best sort of build, um, we'll get into it and, uh, you know, then come up with something a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more accurate. And again, you know, um, you know, I tend to have one sort of play style. Not too sure if it's going to happen with this one, but... Uh, so yeah, it goes. So let's check out. We we're getting into a bit of trouble. We'll get this uh, death trap guy out. We look at that. He is wrecking face, as Axton would say. Oh, look at that! Draws the enemies away quite well. And that's some uh, Wolverine shit going on there. Let's check out this dude. Pull him away from there a bit. Nice. Pretty much what Claptrap should be. <laughs> uh, oh, no retrieval of the skill. Hmm, that's interesting. Anywho, all right, let's get into it. So, um, yeah, pretty ex. Oh, purple stuff. Pretty excited for the Necromancer. Um, yeah, been hanging out for this one for a while. Uh, well, as soon as they released the idea of it, basically. Um, yeah, and from what I can see so far, she is one funny-ass chick. So, um, well, well worth it, that's for sure. Now, I, um, yeah, I've been playing with a few Run! videos, but I've um, been coming across the old, uh, the old YouTube issue of, uh, when it get when your file gets to a certain limit, it uh, tells you that you need to authorize your account. Now I have one, but uh, yes, it just didn't want to work. So this one's going to be a little bit shorter than uh, than I was anticipating. Um, but being a let's play, I'm hoping to do quite a few of them. So yeah, don't worry, there will be more to come. We'll just uh, start off and keep going. And um, just on my channel and the videos that I've been, uh, that I'm starting to get going, um, just wanted to say thanks uh, to all you guys that have uh, checked out my videos. Uh, yeah, I'm really stoked with the uh, response so far. Um, first time doing it, didn't know how I did, how it was going to go. Um, seems like you guys are liking it, so I'm going to keep on doing this uh, as much as I can. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, please, uh, you know, keep checking them out. Maybe even leave some comments and things like that, just so I can sort of get an idea of uh, what you guys like. Um, being new to doing a, a Let's Play type thing. Um, yeah, if you can leave some comments um, on, you know, what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you'd like to see, um, that would be awesome, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about what you guys want to see, um, and you know, I want to do my best to to provide something that you guys want to see. <laughs> so yeah, so thanks guys. Now, let's see. So this is a little bit of a boring bit here, but I'm just trying to take on some, uh, I know there's some badasses out this way, and I thought uh, with the new uh, death trap, it'll be a nice little test to see uh, how he goes up against a badass. Because all these, uh, I mean, these more normal enemy enemies, um, you know, as you saw just before, he seemed to rip through them pretty well. Oh my god, I hate these racks. I don't think Death Trap can fly, so I'm gonna leave him. <gasps> Excuse me. Damn you. Uh, wish I had a shotgun. Alrighty. 
So, alright, while we're making our way to these badasses, um, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a bit of a chat about the character so far. So, um, I will pull up the skill tree in a moment, but, um, yeah, just something I'll just start talking about is, um, one of the skills that I noticed that looks to be a bit of a, uh, or a bit of a sort of key sort of this skill that... I do. No one else, <laughs> no one else, uh, no other characters have is the anarchy skill. Now, basically, hmm, cheeky bow. What it does is, uh, ooh, I thought that was badass. Basically, what the anarchy st skill does is it gives you uh, extra da gun damage, uh, sacrificing accuracy, uh, and, and it stacks up. Um, now, basically, one of the other main things that you need to do is you can't uh, reload on your own. Basically, emptying a whole clip and letting it auto-reload is what will get you those stacks, um, which is a pretty interesting mechanic. Um, yeah, something that, I, like, yeah, it was one of the skills that I thought that I that I definitely would go with um, early on. Not 100% sure at the moment, just sort of playing a lower-level character again. I'm just not sure how it'll how it'll benefit with the uh, you know the low damage guns um, because from what I remember it's about goddamn it's about a 1.75 percent bonus um, I mean yes it does stack but that just doesn't seem like a lot all right enough for you guys let's death trap this up um, yeah it just doesn't seem like a like a Wolverine it like a massive amount to me. I am the greatest engineer alive! <laughs> there she goes again. Oh man. I'm loving this chick. What the f He's kinda stuck in the ground. He is like Claptrap now. Yeah, you crazy kid. Anyway. Um, yeah, so the Anarchy, we'll try it out, we'll see how it goes, um, but I'm a little bit skeptical, um, I mean, it's a game where you can always reset skills, so that's not too much of an issue, but, um, hmm, no badasses, they're normally up here, but we'll see how it goes, um, otherwise, I mean, there's, I guess, the sort of stuff that I tend to go with and I will go with anyway I'll definitely be jumping into things like things that improve oh a bit of health regen and particularly shields now I Bring need death on. trap I'm ready. she's cocky I like it ah oh, god damn it Of course I'm out of ammo. What are you a? Where did you come from? Oh god, and now the racks. Of course the racks. So yeah, definitely going to be the additions of uh, of health and yeah of uh, any health and shield bonuses they're gonna be in there oh we got some badasses all right let's see this guy go so he's doing some pretty consistent 60 to 70 damages wow that's pretty damn good Ah, oh, what? So he go, he disappears when you. Ah, oh, god damn it! Uh, when uh, when you go into the old fight for life. Hmm, not good. But that's fair enough. That's fair enough. It makes sense. All right. So actually, while that happened, uh, let's just have a quick look at the skill tree. So we can sort of explore a bit more of what I was saying. Now, first of all, the anarchy. Um, so yeah, uh, fully emptying a clip, clip basically increases gun damage, uh, but 
decreases your accuracy. Um, stack up a 150, which is quite a lot. Um, you know, even though it's a it, it's a, it's a minor sort of percentage bonus. Um, we'll see how it stacks up. We'll see how it goes. Um, one thing I did find pretty interesting is like you look over here, and uh, yeah, increases your reload speed and decreases your magazine size. Um, that's a pretty cool combination um, because you want to empty your clip to keep getting stacks. Um, so yeah, this this would be pretty damn good, I think, for an aggressive build. Um, yeah, still not a hundred percent sure how it's going to go early on uh, with the sort of low level, uh, low damage guns. But then at the same time, it might be a good way to sort of boost those up. But uh, I usually like accu accuracy, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But um, one thing I really like, I do like this little big trouble tree. Um, from what I can see so far, the Mechromancer has a uh, pretty big focus on the old, uh, on the elemental type things, um, which I've always been quite a fan of. Um, as you can see there, that increases chances of uh, all the different types of uh, elemental. Uh, we jump over here, we've got a bit of resistance to shock, and then also increases shield capacity, and that's one I'll definitely be going with. Uh, we just move along, so melee damage for you and, and uh, Death Trap. Um, seeing as with what we've seen so far, he does melee. I think that might be a pretty handy skill. Um, not as super useful for uh, for myself as it, like my character, I don't think, because um, I think I'm going to play a little bit more sort of backed off. But um, you know, it could be handy, um, but mainly mainly for Death Trap. Now, some of the really cool abilities that I, that I do like about this tree, we've got the stair, so Death Trap fires a laser beam, sweeps across the battlefield, giving uh, burn damage. That's pretty cool. Um, fire is one of the, or burn damage is one of the, one of the, one of the elements that I found to be quite damaging to, you know, quite a lot of enemies. Um, sometimes you're going to get a shield down first, um, but definitely pretty handy. Now, when it comes to getting that shield down, we we'll jump over here. And uh, hitting an enemy with a critical strike causes the, an electrical storm uh, with electrocute damage uh, to nearby enemies. So not just one, but uh, those around. So having that combination is pretty awesome. And then it pimps up just a little bit more. Uh, so when you uh, when your electrocute status uh, deals damage, it's got the chance to set them on fire. So you've got an awesome combination there of basically, uh, if they have shields, getting them down. They don't have shields, paralyzing them, and they're burning the crap out of them. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. That's looking pretty cool. Um, and then just one other one, just to quickly mention. Quite like this at the end of the tree. Um, shooting Death Trap with an elemental weapon charges him with that element. Um, I can just see that being uh, amazing, especially later on. Um, and if there's a way to maybe increase his cooldown uh, by a ways. Uh, yeah, I can see that being quite invaluable. Um, I mean, his cooldown, yeah, being 60 seconds. Uh, his duration is pretty good. He's out there longer than Axon's turret, from what I can see. Um, yeah, I'd say that, yeah, that could be quite a good combination. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. So, what I might do for this one, guys, is um, I'll just wrap it up where we are there. Um, now, I'll... Please let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think, uh, what you might want to see me do with skills, what you want to see me do, uh, any suggestions, any any questions, anything like that. Um, pop them in there, and uh, yeah, I'll leave this one as is, and uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon for another Let's Play. Thanks for hanging out, guys.